Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video is the define phase of demake. So we're going to take a look specifically today just at define. We'll get straight into this and we just want to say well okay pretty straightforward it's the first step of your Six Sigma project what is it that we want you to define? So, number one, I want you to define the problem. So some basic, some basic tools here, some basic tools that I want you to use. Well, run chart, histogram, chart, histogram, CPK. One of the things we're looking for here, I want to know whether what I'm trying to get rid of is noise. By the way, this is the project you should be doing. Or whether the problem is about signal. So I'm just trying to put the thing back on target. Which one of these two have I got? So I want you to define the problem. You know, it's great to look at about six months worth of data if you've got it. You want to quantify it. Defect rate. You want to say how much money is it currently costing me? As I say, tools you're going to use, run shot, Instagram, CPK. Yeah. Uh, pretty pretty straightforward. And the other thing about the problem is um, defining the problem. You want to have one measure. So sometimes people want to say, um, "Oh, I've got an OEE problem. I've got a defect rate problem, and I've got an on-time delivery problem. I want to fix all of those." No, no. The problem is one. You decide you're trying to improve the OEE. You decide you're trying to improve the defect rate. You decide you're trying to improve the on time in full. Pick one and keep it clear and simple. One measure of success only in the problem statement. Then of course I want you to define the target. And of course the target is going to be based on that single measure. So we want the target. We want it to be um, a good aggressive target. Yeah, so set yourself a good aggressive target. I don't know, knocking 90% off the defect rate, even knocking 99% off the defect rate. Set yourself a challenge. Uh, you want to talk about how much money you're going to save and maybe you want to say time by uh, uh, October by October 2018 so nice straightforward target good aggressive target say how much money say how much time it's going to say how much time it's going to take you so problem target what else I want you to define the team that you're going to use and this is most important what should the team contain absolutely critical that it contains doers they hold all the information to solving your problem so that means operators means technicians, it means team leaders. Yes, if you need technical staff, like an engineer, someone from quality, someone from purchasing, all fine and dandy folks, but 
the doers, the operator and the technicians. You can solve any problem with those guys. I could push the engineers away and I could still solve a technical problem just with operators alone. Think of the power to that. So we want you to define the problem, the target, the team. What else would I want you to define? Well, I want you to define the process. So what's the process that's letting you down? And the way you're going to do this, of course, is with a flow diagram. Whatever this thing looks like. Yeah, etc. So I want you to define the problem. Use some pictures, use some data. I want you to define the target. I want you to define your team. And I want you to define your process. And that is the perfect start to a technical problem solving project. It is the perfect start to a Six Sigma project. If you'd like to know more about any of the concepts covered in this video or any of the other concepts covered in my, uh, my other tutorial videos, then here's my latest book, Drink Tea and Read the Paper. It covers everything you need to know about how to make sure that Six Sigma becomes world-class engineering in your company. Otherwise, if you'd like to get in touch with me, a little bit of help about Lean, a little bit of help with Six Sigma, please contact me on the email below.